Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking garlic fried rice. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to fry the garlic chips. Heat up a pan, add in oil. You can add in a little bit more, then it'll be easier to actually fry your garlic chips. You can pour off the excess oil later. So I'm just going to put a little bit more oil so it's easier for me to fry the chips. Now we don't have to wait for the oil to be hot before we put the chips in. Okay, we will slowly brown it to a light golden brown. This is five cloves of garlic sliced thinly like this. All right, this will be our garlic chips. Just put them in now, it's okay, not to worry. Make sure they have in contact with the oil as well as the pan. So spread them out. Now I always use low heat when you want to do this because we don't want to burn this. Um, they burn quite easily. So let them slowly rest in this cold oil and slowly the garlic will transfer its flavor into the oil also, which we'll use part of it to fry our rice with. I love garlic. Do you like garlic? Sometimes I can put a little bit, way too much garlic inside my dishes. But garlic is really good for the body. Antioxidant, it helps to lower down your cholesterol level. So it's really good for the human body. If you are able to consume it raw, it's even much better. So just make sure you move them around, otherwise they will get burnt pretty easily. Turn them around or so. Right, when you turn a light golden brown, you can actually remove them from the heat. Right, some of them are still a little bit on the white side, so I'm just going to turn them over. So something like this will be good, okay, because the heat will actually turn this further. So you just uh, scoop this all out. Turn off the flame if you might, so it won't burn them. Just put them onto here. This will serve as a garnish, which we will put on top of the rice later on. Now turn the heat back on. We are going to fry the minced garlic. This one whole bulb of garlic. Mince up. So you're going to throw everything in. All right, be very careful, don't burn them. Just a light golden brown will do. Make sure you stir them around. Remember always use low flame for this or low heat. You will not be using all this oil for frying the rice. You can keep the oil actually. These are very good for salad dressing. Or you can use it to fry your vegetables with this. It's very very fragrant. Or even for noodles, you can actually put a few drops of this onto your noodles or instant noodles after you cook them. It smells fantastic. Same thing, what we want to achieve over here is a light golden brown. We'll need to drain the oil off later and add this to the rice. With this in the fried rice, it will be very delicious. You'll find very fragrant, crispy bits in the rice, which is what we are trying to achieve over here. Okay, as you can see, it's turning golden brown now. So we'll drain this off. So I have a strainer over here with a bowl, heatproof bowl. Let me just pour it in. Now we'll use the oil, part of the oil later to fry the rice. In a heater pan, we'll add in one tablespoon of the garlic oil. You can use the rest for salad or for your noodles or anything like that. This is very fragrant. We will also add in 20 grams of butter. Now the reason why I use oil with butter is that if you just use purely butter, it will turn brown very easily. I'm going to use medium heat on this. The pan that I'm using is actually a non-stick pan by La Gourmet, Shogun by La Gourmet. It's one of my favorite pans to use actually. So heat up the oil a little bit and then we'll add in the eggs. Now once you can smell the fragrance coming up from the butter, it's time to add in the eggs. I'm using six eggs here, so I'm just going to pour them in. The portion that we are cooking for today is approximately for four to five person. So we need to cook the eggs to about 80% done. I need some liquid on the eggs or so because I'm going to coat my rice with these eggs so that it will be beautiful. Remember, on non-stick pan, try not to use olive oil because then it will be sticky and it will actually spoil the coating of your pan. So now, you can see that there's still some liquid and some of them have solidified. So we're adding the rice. This is four cups of cooked rice. We're putting them in. So mix them up well, okay? We want the 
rice to be coated with the eggs so it'll be beautiful golden in color I can see that the rice are getting very pretty now getting yellow with the eggs covering it now if there's any lump try to press it down and spread out the rice don't chop it like this okay just slowly push it around we need to get the moisture out in Chinese we call it li li fen ming that means every grain of rice must be indiv individual now we're going to add in the chicken powder one and a half teaspoon of chicken powder mix them up well you add in half a teaspoon of salt same thing mix them up well smells really good now how do you know whether it will be ready or not you'll see some of the rice jumping around in the wok i'll show you in a while now there's still some moisture on the rice remember you need to keep stirring them because we don't want to burn it you add in the minced garlic that we have fried just now into the rice spread them up this will be so good now depending on how soft or how um, hard you want your fried rice to be of course the longer you fry the harder the rice will be in certain countries in Southeast Asia the fried rice is pretty hard uh, not really to my liking um, I like mine to be a little bit fluffy so I'm not going to fry them way too dry now once you've mixed this up well you're adding the rest of the ingredients one tablespoon of light soy sauce four stalks of spring onion cut finely like this or chopped one tablespoon of black pepper if you like it more spicy you can put a little bit more it's really up to you and we'll mix all this up look at how beautiful it is you'll get the fragrance to come out of the spring onion and then we'll serve this remember we still have the garlic chipped so we'll use that to garnish this rice okay time to serve this so ladies and gentlemen we have finished cooking our garlic fried rice i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching